TNA Lockdown 2008. What what is it all about? TNA. More virus. I know I'm playing with fire doing a response to you, but I don't care. You've done two videos, yeah, saying be fearful, be fearful of what lockdown could produce. And this is based off like some fucking deal of the day. Now Personally, I've, I've found TNA to be a very difficult promotion. I mean, I've only really been following it properly since, like, No Surrender Time, Bound for Glory 2006. And um, even then, I haven't been watching every impact and, like, been following it religiously. <sighs> religiously, Skype Talk of Moses. You come across, like, some kind of prophet talking to your disciples, uh, TNA Lockdown's gonna be awful, and granted, the card, <laughs> some of it, the stuff on the card looks abysmal, like, who cares about BJ James against Kip James, those guys should be retired, um, a woman's gauntlet, thingy jig, reverse battle royal cage, what's it, Vince Russo bullshit match where like first people in the cage have to have like a match or whatever and then there's the reverse of that for like the X division where like the two left have a match or something. TNA is a promotion that confuses any kind of wrestling fan but I believe that like if you haven't watched much wrestling and TNA is the first wrestling you watched and you may indeed like it and just accept that like wrestling is bereft of logic on all forms, right? But like the thing that's been bugging me is like you're basing like lockdown being shit on like some deal of day, like thinking that TNA may be compensating for something here. Then why haven't they compensated for like every pay-per-view they've done this year? Because I know for a fact that like they haven't really like dazzled Pete wrestling fans at all. Um, and like I don't know, I just find this like kind of weird basis for you to go on and like just do two videos on this kind of thing, you know? I prefer it if like you did videos on something you liked and like I don't know, you just intent on burying people and that and that's fine some people have like shit judgment and whatever and i'm sure you all like shoot me down in flames and say i'm contradicting myself but guess what that's what humans do humans contradict themselves like with whatever they say or do um basically with what i've been doing with tna like for the past few months is i like just been like I haven't watched any Impact this year, I haven't watched a whole episode of Impact this year, because um, it just like upsets me to be honest, um, I can't, I just don't get it, it just doesn't feel, fulfil my needs for a wrestling fan, um, I, when I, the TNA I have been watching is like, rest pay per view matches, but via like daily motion or whatever I pick out the matches that I think could be good and then I watch them you could call me a stingy bastard or whatever I don't give a fuck right like this is this is how I do it and like TNA hasn't disappointed me like that you know the matches between Kurt Angle and Christian Cage have been excellent like some of the best wrestling I've seen this year and um even though it's like the booking may be bad, like run-ins or whatever, I don't care, I still enjoy it I, on that basis of knowing what it is. I mean, I take it you do watch every impact and what order the pay-per-views, because like, you seem to like go on about it so much, and um, I know you write for 411 Mania, perhaps like that's one of the reasons why you may need to watch it. I mean, I'm a wrestling fan, you're a wrestling fan, um, you get your needs for, for wrestling from a hell of a lot of promotions, WWE's doing well at the moment, 
but last year I thought they were pretty shit. And I think like TNA like had their shit moments and they had their moments of good last year as well. I mean bound stuff good stuff happened at Bound for Glory and Genesis and No Surrender. I thought that Angle and Jay Lethal match is probably one of my favourite TNA matches last year. Um but yeah, I don't understand well, I do understand where you're coming from. I is they look at it as like a kind of what happens, like interlinking patterns with like what may happen in life, like circles. Um, shit, I'm babbling now. <laughs> um, yeah, they do a good deal of the day. Oh my god, seeing Don West on that, that just, oh, I was pissing myself, you know, because I just remember how funny Don West is. Um, but yeah, I just don't like the way you've like scoped out this deal of the day and saying they're doing it to compensate for something. Because let's face it, like not every pay-per-view they've done between Hard Justice and now has been great. And they must have done, and they haven't bothered compensating for those, like, <laughs> very much at all, you know? And I'll tell you what, there's like two matches I'm looking forward to, uh, to an extent. The, um, uh, the War Games style Team Cage and Team Tonko match I think could be well cool. And I think Angle and Samoa Joe could be cool, you know? Um, I think people are going to cry a lot if like Joe didn't win the title. But you never know this company. I feel, most of all, I feel sorry for Jim Cornette. Jim Cornette is an amazing wrestling mind, and he's stuck there looking like an idiot and just having to do all this shit, like, which Vince Russo and Jarrett and Mantel, like, have been scripting. And, yeah, it's a shame, like, TNA isn't better or living up to their potential that they may have shown in the past. Like, a lot of people say 2005 was the year for them. Um, I've only seen the, like, famous triple threat X Division match from Unbreakable with that, and that was fucking a phenomenal match. But, um, yeah. Right, I may be missing the point here. I don't script my videos like you do, yeah? But, I don't know, I think you should just, like, leave it alone and stop being so preachy about it. Let the people decide what happens, okay? Like, tear apart what I'm saying, I don't care, alright? I'm a wrestling fan, and I'm a stingy bastard when it comes to TNA. Like, you may, I, well, you don't watch my videos, obviously, but, like, in my wrestling video, VHS, DVD rundown, I have, like, vids for a lot of promotions. Granted, mainly WWE, WWF. But that's what's been available to me, and I haven't been internet shopping for that long, you know? And, um, I haven't brought a TNA DVD yet, and hopefully I will. I want to see this global impact. I want to get Unbreakable 2005, and, like, a few Bound for Glories or whatever. And, yeah, just, I don't know, just stop being such a fucking preacher, and... Mr. Prophecy Moses. <laughs> Shit, I've really lost it, haven't I? But yeah, this is what I'm saying. Um, just watch it for yourself and try and enjoy it yourself if you're ordering this. Personally, I'm going to pick out matches I want to see and then watch them on the internet. Because that way, I haven't been disappointed by TNA yet. And like, even though I do that, Anyway, um, maybe they have the right to be disappointed, but you know, I'm a wrestling fan, you're a wrestling fan, wrestling fan, talk to my vids, just listen, I may have been off the subject, rip me in the flames, I don't care, anyway, thanks for letting me respond, bye.